Hey guys, Coach Rob here. I want to show you an exercise that we refer to as our Frankensteins, which are designed to hit the anterior delt and the middle delt. Now what we do to make it a little bit more complicated and to improve your strength levels is we include the endo board. Uh, for the conversation of this video, we have the endo board set to their pillow design. You could also be doing it on the roller, which would have a, an incredible amount of left to right movement. But for the sake of this video, we're going to show you using the pillow, the endo board, and some free weights. Now, the one thing I want you to pay, pay attention to is it's, you do not want to use a tremendous amount of weight with this uh, exercise because the shoulder, the girdle around the humerus, is, it tends to be uh, built up with a lot of small stabilizer muscles. So how do you know if you're lifting too much weight? If you have to throw the weight to initiate the movement, it's too much weight, all right? And trust me, if you move it slowly, you're going to get more strength in a shorter period of time than using too much weight that your body really can't handle. The first thing I want you to do is just simply get centered on the board, okay? As you're doing this, what your goal is is to not let the edges of the board touch, all right? What I want you to understand is the board's going to go forwards, it's going to go backwards, it could go right, it could go left, okay? So with that being said, what I want you to do is tighten up your abdominal muscles until the board's nice and centered. And then what you're going to do is you're going to throw your balance off. This is where the Frankenstein move comes in, where you're just simply going to take the, the weight up to the horizon. All right? Make sure you don't end up up here. All right? You only want it up to the horizon. So it's going to be straight up. Pause for one second. Bring it down slowly. As soon as it touches your hips, come straight out to the side. All right? Coming back down to the center. All right, now what I want you to realize, let's just start this over. One repetition is both ranges of motion. So here and here is considered one repetition. Straight up, straight out, that's two repetitions, okay? Now what I want you to pay attention to is you'll notice that as you raise the weight out in front of you, you're obviously throwing off your, your, your uh, internal balance intentionally. When you start to fall forward, okay, say you're looking at me from the side, as I start to fall forward, the posterior muscles have to counterbalance. As I start to fall backwards, the anterior muscles, the front, have to pull forward. If I start to tilt to the left and the right, the body's constantly fighting for balance, okay? If you were to do this exercise with your shirt off, you'd see all the striations in your external obliques, your rectus abdominis groups, you'd see them all being turned on, okay? It's very important for you as an athlete, the more they integrate together, the more efficient and more powerful you're going to be. So you definitely want to be doing it on an endo board. If by chance you don't have an endo board, you can feel free to do them on one leg. Again, just make sure that you've got your leg behind you to throw your balance. You would take it straight out here, take it out this way, okay? And uh, like I said, nothing works as well as the endo board, but if that's all you, you, if you don't have one, I don't want you to not do the exercise because of it. So if you have any questions, please feel free to email me. My email address is Rob, R-O-B-B, the number three, at earthlink.net. I appreciate you watching the video.